China retaliates, Intel apologizes. US chipmaker Intel has deleted references to Xinjiang from an annual letter to suppliers after the company faced a backlash in China for asking suppliers to avoid the sanction hit region. Before we continue, if you like what we talk about on this channel and if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. I'll give you a few seconds to do that and then we'll continue. Intel was slammed on Chinese social media for a letter to suppliers published on its website. The December 23, 2021 letter said Intel had been required to ensure that its supply chain does not use any labor of source goods or services from the Xinjiang region following restrictions imposed by multiple governments. After China's reaction, Intel had to make a step back and publicly apologize for being part of anti-China propaganda. Any reference to Xinjiang or China was no longer in the letter, neither on their website. The letter now reads that the company prohibits any human trafficked or involuntary labor such as forced, dead, bonded, prison, indentured or slave labor throughout your extended supply chains. Intel apologized for the trouble it had caused among their cherished Chinese partners, which they deeply regret, saying that its commitment to avoid supply chains from Xinjiang was an expression of compliance with the US law rather than a statement of its position on the issue. We apologize for the trouble caused to our respected Chinese customers, partners and the public, the company said. This is clearly the compliance issue rather than a decision-making based on facts. Western companies that operate in China say they are unable to carry out independent audits of factories and other workplaces, so there is so-called ban. Xinjiang-made goods and services are based on either Western media propaganda or Western politicians' propaganda, or worst of all, it's a result of a direct pressure from Washington. Xinjiang is a major supplier of silica used in making computer chips. Intel has a chip factory in Russian-built city of Dalian in Liaoning province of China's northeast. It's only one in Asia and one of four outside the United States. The company also has a research facility in Beijing. Intel may not want to lose its chip factory in China and more importantly, Chinese-produced silica. In 2020, China produced 5.4 million metric tons of silicon, US produced only 209,000 metric tons. Multinational companies have come under pressure as they aim to comply with Xinjiang-related trade sanctions while continuing to operate in China, one of their biggest markets if not the biggest. The United States has accused China of widespread human rights abuse in Xinjiang, home to the country's predominantly Muslim Uyghurs, including forced labor. So far, the United States couldn't provide a compelling evidence of forced labor and human rights abuse in Xinjiang. Beijing has repeatedly denied the claims. Four U.S. politicians introduced the Uyghur Forced Labor Prevention Act in December 2021, calling for a ban on imports from Xinjiang over allegations of forced labor there. I'm sure the US politicians are truly concerned about Uyghur people's well-being in Xinjiang. Banning the products they make to ship to the United States and EU will help Uyghurs. Another thing is how those politicians identify who is Uyghur and who is not. There are so many ethnic minorities live in Xinjiang besides Uyghurs. I understand the fact that the United States has to come up with some sort of pretext for sanctions against China to stop its development or at least to slow them down. But these politicians should do their homework first, spend some time to understand China and people that live in that country. On December 23, 2021, US President Joe Biden signed the act into law. Just before you leave, if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. Of course, if you like the things we talk about on this channel. Thank you. Till next time. Bye.